Calamari's on the menu. I thought that was supposed to do things! Indiana Jones! Chocolate rain! Pours down from that large old sewer drain. Chocolate rain. Zombie tadpoles trying to eat my brain. Chocolate rain. Oh God. Oh, there. I have no idea if this is blocking out the song, but I found out I'm getting copyrighted every time this plays. Was that better than the original version? I found out the hard way. For some reason, I decided to go back and, and explore my analytics for some dumb reason, because I've not looked at my stats in months. And come to find out that at the very beginning of every single stream, I am getting copyright struck in the first two minutes. I always get struck every single time. doesn't matter. But the first two minutes, I was constantly getting hit. And it's because of that stupid intro. We like the old intro better, plays old intro. YouTube's like, we like the new intro better. Can't win. Can't win. Yeah. You hear that epic music? We got ourselves a brand new game, brand new adventure. The, bl the blade signal is up. Papa Blades has put out the call for heroes to unite, for blade brews to be poured, for axes to be splintered, for armor to take chinks and hits. Why is there skulls in here? For monsters to be slain, for adventures to be had, for stories to be shared, and for people to interrupt me with fart blurts. That's right, folks. Welcome to the Scotty Blade Show. This new horror game is called Taken Soul. Thought about doing Alone in the Dark. Read a lot of reviews about it today. Watched some gameplay. Very, very boring, although very pretty. Very, very boring. Then... I came across this game by accident, and this game looks like we're going to make a lot of fun of it. It looks really bad, but in a cheesy way. It looks really bad, but in a cringy way. It looks really bad, but in a the room bad. You're tearing us apart, Lisa! Like that bad, like so bad it's gonna be good. So no matter what, it's much cheaper. It was a $10 game compared to a 60 because we still have Dragon's Dogma Friday and maybe even Rise of Ronin because I'm a sucker for Samurais, man. I'm watching Shogun right now. That that TV show is just... Oh! Oh! Ultimate satisfaction, even though it's taken me three episodes to try to figure out what's going on. And I've had to explain it many times to my compatriot. Yeah, right now, right now is the season to be bleeding people with samurai swords and committing seppuku. You guys want to support the broadcast? You want to make sure that the armory stays loaded, that we're able to press the flannels that are given out to heroes every single day as you guys go to and about your adventures of your own. Super Chats! Or becoming a Blade Master, as you guys can see up here on the screen. Uh, maybe you can. Can't wait for the Max Payne rematch. Max Payne remake? Me neither, buddy. <laughs> Rumor has it that the new X-Men reboot movie 
Rumors have it the new X-Men reboot movie Magneto isn't the bad. X-Men reboot movie. It's the first time hearing about that, and I got my thumb on all things nerd. Tell me more. I know I can't stand the way that Magneto looks in the X-Men 97 animated series. He wears rubber sleeves like he's washing dishes and has a giant M on his chest. Magneto has a rich, rich history of incredible uniforms. And you're going to put a giant white M on his chest and have him wear rubber dishwashing gloves? Come on, man. Otherwise, the, the new TV show, X-Men 97, is really, really good. I was very, very impressed. Was not expecting good things. Did not overhype myself. Went in with low expectations. Came out of it impressed. So I, I liked it. I was probably pretty good. Except for what they did to Magneto. They did Magneto wrong. He looks terrible. Really bad. He looks really... His character's cool as crap, but he, he just looks dumb. Let's see who's answered the signal. Who's showed up for the adventure. Who's ready to help Papa Blade slay some evil. First comment that I see. I got somewhere you can put your thumb. Hello, James. You think Rise of the Ronin will win Game of the Year? Really? Michael Fassbender is great. Fantastic Magneto. It's unfortunate that the, the Sony? Was it Sony or Fox? I know Fox was Hugh Jackman in the early days. I guess it's still Fox. It's too bad that the James McAvoy's and the Michael Fassbender casting was wasted because they were fantastic in their respective roles of Professor X and Magneto. I love them. What's up, Ryan? Hello, Morgan and Thomas. Hey, buddy. Hello, Jean Ake. Hello, WJ Minor. The X-Men are being rebooted during the new Marvel phase, and we are slowly going to be shown new X-Men, and after Secret Wars, a new X-Men reboot is happening. Gotcha. Gotcha. After Secret Wars. When Hugh Jackman officially finally hangs up the claw. Hello, Daniel. What's up, Aaron? Hello, Andrea. Hello, Dan. Hello, Parker. Hello, Kat. Hello, Saul. Hello, I think I might have said hi to Cooter Slayer, but I like your name. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jay. Hello, Gooch Goblin. What's up, Brian? Marcelo, Alan, Michelle, Steven. Cat was the first comment of the show, and uh, Amber did beat Brian to the broadcast. Hello, Marlo. Ted's in the house. Welcome. Hello, Jason. Everyone looks great tonight. They showed up squared away and ready to rock and roll. Sorry, <laughs> you were salmon for your birthday. Good. Let's fire up this game. No Carl Urban is a variant Deadpool, but Daniel Radcliffe and Henry Cavill. Yep. Let's do it. I hope the game works. I've not tested it. You got a haircut? Not in... Jason, you've been to the show since the last time. I didn't touch anything. You've been to the show since the last time I got a haircut. I've not gotten a haircut in time recently. Turn up the brightness. Turn down the volume. High fidelity. Absolutely. Let's bring it, man. Let's bring it. Bring brightness a little bit higher. Music volume a little bit lower. You can't turn it all the way down. Interesting. You've been busy moving and your mind's broken. I think I got a haircut, what, a month ago? Smooth sailing on that move, I hope. Smooth sailing on that move. What's up, Christian? Four Wolverines after Secret War. Jack was officially done as Wolverine. Yeah, he keeps saying that. He's done hung up the claws once because they made the greatest superhero movie ever made. Old Man Logan. They made the greatest superhero movie ever made, but then Ryan Reynolds brought them back because they've got to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's it's in a pretty it's in a pretty bad spot right now. They need they need a couple of stalwarts like Ryan and Hugh to come back and save it and put it back on the right path. 
Daniel Radcliffe as Wolverine. I think that's a really good casting. I like Daniel Radcliffe. He's a good actor. And then, of course, anything Henry Cavill touches is automatically magic. He's the super nerd. Okay. This game has no title screen, but it's called Taken Souls. So we're going to be taking some souls tonight. I'm not talking about whenever you get a good you-know-what and they drain you of all power. I'm talking about... I have no idea. We'll see what the game's got to offer. I did read in the reviews for this game that the story doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so we'll ad-lib, and we'll just... Mm -hmm. Ten dollars from your dirty thoughts to fund my freaky darling songs dying going to lurk. First super chat of the broadcast coming in from your dirty thoughts. Who makes a tribute to the blade signal to make the broadcast stronger? I want a live action blob. They did have a live action blob in that really bad Wolverine movie. And it was an actor that I really liked, but I don't remember his name. Thank you so much, your dirty thought. Why is there a random horse out there? Wild pony. Hey, David. There's gonna be a car accident or something. You maniac, you're driving on the wrong... Hello. Trông nhìn kia con. Hôm nay trời đẹp ghê Cũng đã lâu oh, rồi no, kể từ ngày bố mất Mẹ mới quay trở lại Đà Lạt Đẹp thật đấy mẹ Lần đầu con được thấy cảnh đẹp như vậy Đà Lạt đúng là thành phố mộng mơ Mẹ biết các con rất thích khám phá Từ lâu mẹ đã muốn cho các con lên đây rồi Nhưng mà chưa có dịp Lần này cả nhà mình mới có thời gian đi chơi xa cùng nhau Trùng nhớ để ý em nha con Nghe bạn con bảo Đà Lạt có nhiều chỗ chơi lắm Con sẽ yeah, Kevin bạn. Durant's that guy's name I love that actor Lạc. Sau đó chúng ta chơi đập vịt ở Hồ Xuân Hương My friend that Em Dalla có thích thương thẳng fun places. Ok that's his little sister Don't worry we're almost there Just need to cross this path I'm speeding up to get us there Ok that's their mom Ok so that's mom, big brother, and little sister. It's Vietnamese. <laughs> Damn Asian! We're at Friend Pass. And we're freaking flooring it, man. Broom, broom. Sao đài hôm nay nghe đề đề vậy ta? The radio crackles with static. Just heard the weather forecast and it's already raining. It's such bad luck. It's just lightning, kid. Con gái đừng sợ. Có mẹ ở đây. Để mẹ lấy gấu cho con chơi. Let me grab a baby doll for you to play with. Con có thấy gấu của em để đâu không con? Em ngoan đi. Qua ngồi rồi đánh rồi. Con để đằng sau cái trái thôi. Mẹ mới nói chơi. That's why you never look for a doll in the middle of a storm. You'll run over a random pedestrian. Cat Holmquist with the two bones. I don't know why it didn't pop up on the screen. Stream Elements said they fixed that shit where it picks and chooses certain alerts to go up. Where were their seat belts? Well, Morgan, you see... They were riding around in a 1962 Volkswagen Shabbat, which had what was called bucket seats. Now these bucket seats, you have to understand, they weren't in it for safety. They were in it for comfort. So as long as the person that was riding in the 1963 Volkswagen Shabbat was comfortable, seatbelts be damned. It was like riding a school bus. That Volkswagen 1963 Shabbat, it was so thick and sturdy and made of so much German reinforced metal that you don't hit the Volkswagen in a car accident. The Volkswagen hits you. <laughs> also, where's my sister and my mom? 
Let me see if I can turn this stuff down. Sound effects, here we go. I had the volume turned down, but not anything else. Green brightness, mass sensitivity, okay. Asians don't wear seatbelt. Yeah, I could have just answered with that, I guess, instead of the actual answer. Thank you once again so much, Cat. Ruckus seats. What is a seat belt? That thing that nobody ever wears but saves a lot of lives. Hey, Summer Scout. No, it's not Uncle Ruckus. Bucket. I love you. And I miss you. <sighs> First blur for the night coming in from the awesome and powerful Shayla Shay. Thank you, Shayla. Oh, shit. Is that my 1963 Volkswagen Shabbat? Oh, my God, it is. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Seat belts are for cowards. You don't realize how much PTSD you have until you have it. <laughs> I just had an immediate vision. This is really graphic. So if you want to take a second to turn away or to not pay attention for a little bit, but I went to a car accident one time and uh, the person was ejected from the vehicle and we couldn't find them. We looked everywhere, couldn't find them. I mean, we looked everywhere. We did a grid search, couldn't find them. He was up in a tree and his neck was wedged in a tree limb and he was just hanging there. It was, it was nuts looking. No! No, the earth is consuming my Volkswagen Shabbat! Ah! Oh my. <laughs> Was the kid already a zombie or I've got a lot of questions. Titties. I don't have any questions anymore. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Where's my mom and sister? You're hurt, so don't av so avoid any sudden movement. You're in a hospital. Your family is fine. What about my sister? That's my mom. That's the ceiling light. What about my sister? I have to find her and mom. I cannot lie here for long. But she said my family was okay. Well, who's this guy? That's not my mom. <laughs> ah, why am I wearing a jean jacket? I didn't know my character was a bitch. <laughs> well, that that's not my mom. Hey, douche. You see, that's what I look like when I lay in bed at night with constipation. Eyes open, sweat pouring down my head. Just saying, please. One pebble. I will trade one. I'll trade my kingdom for a single pebble. One brown pearl. That's all I'm asking for. Do I want to know a creepy fact? Sure. Also, your dirty thoughts gifting a sub to Jesse Templeton and gifting another membership and recruiting another Blade Master to the cause. Let us welcome Kat Holmquist and Jesse Templeton. And he said I could use his real name. Chris Locke, thank you so much, my friend, for being somebody else's hero here in the community and bringing on a couple of new Blade Masters. Grab your kit, load your shit. We're going to war, baby. Got some monsters to slay. These alerts are all out of whack. An old radio. 
I touch it. 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 I'm done with you. Well, I feel like shit. Oh, shit. Feeling like a saggy massive sack of shit. Oh, shit. Big ol' motherfucking duffel bag of shit. Oh. Duffel bag. Alright, that's my new favorite blurb. A thermos. Someone's thermos. It's used to keep Walter warm. Alright, well. I... Got a lot of trophies just now. For picking up... Oh, is that a PP bucket? Oh, no! No, the PP bucket is open for the air circulation to run through. And now I gotta smell his stank. Well... Okay, I can't talk to her. I picked up the thermos. Is that my mom? I gotta be honest with you. These all look the same, so I can't tell who's who. Not the people, the character models. Come on. Not the, not Asians in general, the character models. What's wrong with you guys? I forgot what the objective of the game was. It's not going to tell me. Okay, she's covering her bubble guts because she knows I'm coming for them. A random note. Says here, Dr. Dear Dove. I'm writing this letter from the bottom of my dove to express my deepest dough to you, Dr. Dove. The entire team of nurses and medical staff at Doe Led Doe Doe for supporting me through my illness during the Doe process. From the very first Doe of discovering my Doe, I had to go through a long and challenging Doe Doe. Fortunately, with the dedicated help of the Doe, step-by-step Doe helped me to gradually Doe. Not only that, but the Doe were also an indispensable source of Doe Doe, helping to maintain Doe and Doe to fight against the Doe. I hope to have the Doe to meet you and the entire medical team in the Doe. Not as a doe, but as a doe. To thank you in person and to doe the positive progress in my doe after doe and the doe. With doe and doe, Dr. Dang Dingleheart. I feel like shit. That's right. You know it. The door is locked. Well, why don't you ask one of the nurses to... Uh-oh. Okay. Why don't you ask... I love refrigerators. Well, that was as weird for me. Don't mind me, man. Just a guy who's pushing around a wheelchair. No problems here. What's up, Andre? Wish that baby shut the hell up. I got wheelchairs to push. It's giving me the option to interact with that, but I can't, so that's... Oh, here we go. This guy's name is Tido. He's a female. Clinical neuro neurological order. Okay, well, he'll be all right. This game's weird. You're going to Calgary? Cool. Amber, what are we doing for spring break? Hey, Cheryl. Why are you hunched over? I was in a car accident, Ted. I'd like to see you flip a 1963 Winnebago Shabbat. Fuck it, I'm going to bed. 
Hey, Bone Daddy. You got any vertebrae? I don't care about the note, man. I want the keys. Stop. The doctor's not here. Get the keys. He was playing solitaire. Where are the keys? Okay, for some reason the key's in the medicine cabinet, but that's fine. Oh, we're fine. Open eye for inventory. Copy. It's equipped. Very good. All right. Let's go open the door. Solitaire, what a loser. Not everybody can have all the friends in the world like you, Brian. And I think this isn't solitaire. This is what? Free sale? I think what that game's called. That kid needs a Capri Sun? Yeah, poison his lungs with metal. Fung back! Wish I could go faster, but I can't. I'm trying. Quest completed. You hate free sale? I don't remember if I was any good at that game or not. I know I used to play it on my old dad's... My old dad. What happened? Right? Did I get a new dad? I used to play it on my old dad's computer. Now I've got a new dad. Hi, welcome to Blade Dads. Do you need a dad in your life? Are you tired of the dads you've got now? Or did your dad leave for cigarettes and milk and never come back? Well, here at Blade Dads, we've got just the dad for you. Are you looking for a dad to play catch with you in the backyard or teach you how to ride a bicycle? Maybe the dad can teach you how to balance a checkbook or how to shave. Here at Blade Dads, we got big dads, small dads, wide dads, skinny dads, dads with gas, dads who fall asleep watching TV with remotes on their stomach. Is that how they poop in Asia? Disgusting. Smell a fellow loser. <laughs> Play dads. We've got just the dad for you. Trade in your old dad. Get a new dad. Don't like your new dad? Trade him in. Get your old dad. Good credit, bad credit, no credit. We don't care. We'll take you, dad. Why did I grab the blood pressure cup device? Two dollars from your dirty thoughts. I'll be on you, Dad. There you go. We've uh, we're taking we're taking <laughs> we're taking bids. We got new dads. Really wish I could go faster. Six dollars sixty-six cents from Troy, your boy, Cardinisti. Dads who sell sad worship for the walls. Take that, God. I'm so superstitious, Troy, that I want to stand up and take off running because you blasphemed. <laughs> right here in the eyes. <laughs> I want to get up and take off running. He's going to get hit with lightning for sure. <laughs> hey, thank you, your dirty thoughts, and Troy, your boy, back-to-back -back heroic deeds. Thank you so much, my friends, for supporting the show and supporting the League of Blaze. Thanks for the two and the six, 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 six back to back. Hey, Paul. Four dollars ninety nine cents from Jen Two Boobs Kern. You're not my real dad. We got fake dads, real dads. We got monster dads. <laughs> we got dirty dads. We got bedroom dads. We got. <laughs> you want a dad? We got all the dads here at Blade Dads. What do you need? I'm looking for my relative. Can I go inside? This is the quarantine area. You should look elsewhere. I'm in a hurry. Let me look quickly and I'll leave right away. But I see other people going in and out normally.
Only doctors are allowed in here, he said. Saddy. We got some more Blade Masters to welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Your dirty thoughts. Has trained up and brought on five new Blade Masters. Cheryl Merwin. from Jason and Spring. Let's do Seuss the Dad guides. Let's Dr. Seuss the Dad. James Gunn is speculating possibly casting Ryan Goslin as the new Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes. But James Gunn is over DC. And Ghost Rider is Marvel. Danny Bayless, be done. Jason Spring, <laughs> let's Dr. Seuss the bad gods. So much love and support going on. How about a Mexican play, Reyes? Who was the guy that played him in... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? That guy did a great job as Robbie Reyes. We got to get you on Twitch. I have zero interest on streaming on Twitch. Danny Trejo, too old. Thank you, Marcelo, for gifting a sub to just Dan. <laughs> just straight up Dan. Yeah, it could be Danny Trejo. Dan. Hey, thank you guys very much. Thank you to Jason, Marcelo, Jen, two boobs, Troy. Your dirty thoughts. Have you guys seen Twitch? I love women. Women are great. They should be protected. There, there are our most beautiful. Sometimes life is cock and ball torture without the cock and balls. Anyway, if you pull up the Twitch browse feed, you will get assaulted by so much ass and tits. That if you don't bust within the first five seconds, you obviously had did it before you got on there because it's just, it's, eh, the big thing now is they're wearing gym shorts that are green screen gym shorts and the camera is on their rear end while they play the game and the game is showing on their rear end. So you're looking at a butt that's got a video game playing on it. <laughs> More power to them. I, I hope it I hope it wins the day, but that's just not where I want to stream. All right, so he said I can't go in there unless I'm a doctor. So I need to be a doctor. Booty games? I mean, more power to them. I hope it succeeds, and I hope that market flourishes, but that's just not the kind of content that we offer here, so I don't know how that would ever make it over there. There's a place for that kind of content, and I'm glad they're doing it, and I hope they make their money, and I hope they grow their communities, and I hope it works out great for them. That's just not what I offer, and that's why I don't play on Twitch or Kick. You're not allowed to go this way, or what? I found this device. Can you help me return it to the owner? There's a couple of good streamers on Twitch. Uh, uh, we watch Barbarous King. We watch um, Avoid the Puddle. We watch, used to watch Moon Moon, but he's doing nothing but Grand Theft Auto anymore, and I just don't care for that game. Absolutely. There's still folks on there you can find. Absolutely. Okay, so we got him to go away by giving him the thing that I stole. So Vertical Streams brought in new people. It did for like a week, but then it's like YouTube found out that people were doing it and they 
shut it down because my last couple of vertical streams had less views than my horizontal stream. I, it was awful. The the numbers didn't. Is is there not a lot of people watching right now? I never check my numbers. Is is that what's wrong? Is there's just not a lot of folks watching right now or something? Eh. All I can do is just be the best that I can be. I can't help it if folks do or don't show up. I'm here at the same time every night. I'm happy. If people want to, new people want to show up, great. If they don't, it is what it is. I believe in a thing called love. Today, hey Tom, February the 15th, 2000. Today I encountered a series of peculiar cases that I cannot explain with medical knowledge. The patients were admitted with severe body aches, unexplained fatigue, disordered behavior, and a range of strange neurological symptoms. Most notably, a middle-aged woman was examined. Constantly uttering, give me back my life. Good Lord. The folk tales that I once considered superstitions are now causing me to ponder deeply. I am monitoring and treating them, but so far no medical method. You're watching me instead of catching up on Shogun? Oh, this is, I, I love Shogun, but this show in this community is way more fun than Shogun. And I love Shogun. Shogun's really good, but this, this show is just too much fun to, to miss out on. Today I record these cases in my diary with a sense of despair and finding a solution for my patients. Despair! <laughs> despair! Including methods that involve spiritual elements. If I was a doctor, when I was a cop, I didn't ever discount anything until I proved it wrong. Any, if somebody gave me a lead and the lead was just so asinine and made up and completely hogwash that I knew instinctually that they were wrong, I would still follow up on it to an extent to debunk it. I would do the same thing if I was a doctor. If I was a doctor and somebody came in and said, I can shake chicken bones at this person and make them healthy, I'd say, give it a shot. Who am I to say you can't? Because I think I'm the best and I'm the smartest. I think it's one of the reasons why I was so good at being a detective is that I never said, I'm the smartest man in the room. I looked for the smart people to make me smarter. So if you came in and said, hey, try this, I'd be like, all right, I'll do it. I'm a pilot. I can fly. Why am I back here? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is also being rumored to be revived, and that is so they are talking about exploring Captain America's story. Oh, really? Was you ever going to clarify what you said earlier about James Gunn, who's head of D.C. now, casting... Hey, the doctor jacket that I needed. Casting Ryan Goslin as Robbie Reyes. A Captain America story in the past. Speaking of that, I spent five hours today recording a video for the new Marvel 1943 trailer that dropped. It's a video game, from, and the person who's making it was the writer and director of Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and the Legacy of Kane game series. Her name was Anne something. I can't remember what it was. But she's got a fantastic track record. Like, she's only had one miss, and that was that recent game, Forspoken or Forsaken, or whatever it was called, that didn't do very well. But otherwise, she's like 9 for 10. But the game takes place in 1943 with Captain America in the trenches, fighting with the Howling Commandos, with... T'Challa's the Black Panther today, right? Well, it's his grandpa who was fighting back in World War II, Azuri the Wise. I recorded it, and then I decided nobody would probably be interested or want to know about Captain America because everybody knows who Captain America is already, so I just trashed it. <laughs> I spent five hours on it today, writing scripts and recording and doing research, and and then I sat down to, to edit it, and I was like, nobody cares about Captain America as far as explaining it. Everybody knows who Captain America is. I'm going to go eat popcorn. And I did. Doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Oh, the other guy. I, I got to go this way. Doctor, doctor. 
Good job. Thanks, man. I need to get in to see the patient. Open the door. Now. That's how doctors talk. They're very aggressive. Tôi cần vào khám cho bệnh nhân. Mở mở cửa. À, à, vào đi bác sĩ. Yes, doctors. That's me. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor and I want to be here. Were they kicking Nazi ass? Yeah, the name of the game is called The Rise of Hydra. And it goes over when Baron von Wolfgang Strucker becomes Baron Strucker. And I can't remember Red Skull's real name, but basically when the two Nazis Ten become Red Skull and Baron Jared Magic Man Johnson, I'll be your Captain America study. You'll be my Captain America? I'd follow your ass into battle, Jared. I'd back you up to the frickin' moon, my friend. I would be your dumb dumb Dugan. I'd be your Robin. I'd gas you up, buddy. I'd have you I'd have your back. When rounds are flying, you can confidently look to your right and see me taking rounds right beside of you, buddy. I'm there with you. Johan Schmidt, that's it. Thank you for the ten bones. Oh, you got the directors mixed up. It was actually Kevin Feige. Yeah, that's the guy that would have that decision. He's the head honcho of Marvel. That'd, that'd be him. This is in the hospital? Whoa, I know Dr. Karate! I know Dr. Karate! Whoa! Cool! Is that a dead body? Hospital morgue. Deceased person's information. Date of birth, 1941. Date of death, 2000. So they were 84 years old. Cause of death, schizophrenia. That can kill you? We can confirm the information provided above is accurate and the deceased was transferred to the hospital. Huh. All right. How's it going? What is this place? They had one cop protecting this place. And he was easily distracted because I put on... I'm the same dude who walked up and asked for permission to go in here. I just went and got a lab coat and put it on. Oh, doctor. I can't see the game. I'm having to look on y'all's screen. Another horror game where it's too dark and you can't see what's going on. Dr. Karate. Dr. Karate. Nineteen forty one to two thousand makes them fifty nine. Why ain't you a genius? Okay, I see way off in the distance there's a body hanging. Again, remember. One cop with a stick was guarding this whole area. And then that's obviously some kind of demon, zombie, shadow. Never mind. He's Jamaican. Hey, Catherine. Because he been Jamaican me crazy. Your dad's turning 80 next month? Nice! That body's gonna move. It's not gonna move, but it's got a knife in it. I mean, no. Today, I am on the night shift again. Recently, I have encountered and witnessed many bizarre incidents that I have never seen before in my life. Lately, some very strange occurrences have been happening in the hospital morgue, causing unease among everyone here. Most of my colleagues have even quit. I heard that prayer music. Hey, good evening, Manhattan. Welcome to the adventure. Hi, oh, 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 oh,
Sometimes when a body is brought to the morgue after about one or two days when it's supposed to be handed to the family, we find that some bodies are missing both eyes. Others suddenly have no limbs. And the internal organs are gouged out. Oh my god. So are the bodies eating other bodies? The most terrifying case was a young woman, about 20 years old, who appeared to have been murdered. I saw the white cloth covering her body was pulled askew, revealing her neck without a head, and the throat was covered in dried, blackened blood, which is utterly horrifying. Regrettably, I cannot leave this place. I've been working here for nearly 10 years, and my family depends on my monthly salary. But if things continue like this, I might go insane. How about you take a picture of the decapitated lady and the one with the organs gouged out and the eyeballs being sucked out of their brain? You're playing the GameCube one? No. I know that my title saying brand new Silent Hill clone game may make you think that we're playing Silent Hill, but this is in fact a Silent Hill clone game called True Souls or something. Taken Souls. I thought that was a knife. Don't move. Eagles fly and fill the sky. We got a new Blade Master coming in, courtesy of your dirty thoughts, who has really been generous tonight with the gifted subs and the gifted members. Truly, you are a lot of folks' hero tonight. Don't you ever forget that. Thank you, Chris, for the gifted sub. And welcome, Michael Mays. It says Resident Evil. Oh, well, this game doesn't... Um, This game is, is a Vietnamese horror game that has zero following, so there's no way to tag it on YouTube, so forgive me. I couldn't find a game called Huang Peng Taken Soul to tag, so that's the closest thing to this game that I could find. No, I'm not playing the GameCube version of Resident Evil. Sorry, that's the closest Jimmy thing Turner, I can find. Taken Soul, Taken Soul, gonna get all the souls. Bacon Souls, Taken Souls, gonna get all the souls. Reaping Souls, Reaping Souls, gonna grab us up at Souls. Uh, let's see here. A bunch of shit about stuff nobody cares about. The light of Buddha, the joy in the realm of Buddha. I pray for Buddha. Help me, Buddha. I'm in this dark place. Need Buddha, okay? And here's some instant noodles. Did you guys know the armory... That's not the armory. <laughs> the, uh, we hand out boo-boo bushes here and health potions and we cast spells of healing wounds on ourselves. Did you guys know that a packet of Mwekket instant noodles will restore your health points by 25%? Go to the store. Don't get first aid sprays. Don't buy boo-boo bushes. Don't get band-aids. Grab a whole big giant pack of instant ramen noodles. That's what's going to keep you topped off in the war against evil. Nice. I don't know. Ew. I watched... I guess he was Vietnamese. He was camping. And he cooked like a, a pot. A noodle pot. And one of the things that he poured in there, along with some squid, is he poured some shrimp. See, when I eat shrimp, the head's gone. I just got the butt, and it's delicious. This shrimp still has the little black beady eyes that stare at you, which I don't like. Cut the head off. Yummy. All right, cool. We held up a little bit. What kind of hoopla are we playing tonight? It's a game called Taken Souls. It's a new Vietnamese Silent Hill clone game. All right, so Ted, you'll be happy to know that 
We ate ramen noodles, and I'm no longer hunched over. Blade crawdad? Oh shit! What did I do? What the hell's going on? Ow! Speaking of Silent Hill, you gonna play the new one? Yeah. Or are you talking about the one that just came out a couple months ago? Because I did play the one that came out a couple months ago. It sucked. Is that what we're talking about? I did play that one. For some reason, I'm still hurt. This is, this is as fast as I can run! Oh my god! This is as fast as I can run! Press C to crouch. as fast as I can run. And they're still cracking my skull in the background. What a cop move. What an absolute cop move. What are you guys talking about? Why is the game stuck like this? I can't go any faster. Why are you stopping? Crank up the brightness. I can't see shit. It even has Silent Hill music. There's four cops in here. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know where else to go. There's there's four cops in here. And they're walking down every aisle that I could possibly crouch in. There's four cops in here. They're taking my soul. Okay, for some reason we're going slightly faster. This is your favorite Silent Hill track, the Air Raid Siren. Hopefully it's not too loud on y'all's end. Run faster. I am gunning it! Jesus Krampus and Joseph! You stupid shit, run! It's impossible. It's impossible.
We got another Blade of Masters joining us in the Hall of Heroes, courtesy of Chris Locke. Let's welcome Robert Swenson to the Table of Blades. Let your eagles fly, folks. Thank you so much to Chris. No, nay, nay. Oh, nay, nay. I cannot believe this is as fast as I can run. And this is a, a god dang escape sequence. Are you kidding me? No! No! Run! Oh my god, no! This is going to take all of my thoughts, nay, all of my focus, all of my skill. For some reason, I was able to run full speed before. Ever since I died, I am now stuck in this weird... I shouldn't be going that slow. You guys saw how fast I was running earlier. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. He keeps getting stuck. I don't know why he keeps getting stuck. Did you eat ramen yet? Yeah, that's the sucky thing. I ate the ramen. My health went up. Then some dude showed up and beat the shit out of me. Oh my god! And I'm stuck in this slow... $5 from your dirty thoughts, stay tight.
Kef $5 from Special Agent Siegel Squawk I heard the cops took your soul earlier. They took mine too, my driver's license. Take your driver's license? Why? You don't know why they took your truck. They can't just take your license from you. <laughs> Thank you, Special Agent Squawk with a five Canadian cash. Thanks for donating to the cause, my friend. Thanks for your blade ties. Stop standing up. I'm not pushing the stand up button. They probably thought your picture was cute. That's what it was. Hey, Alicia. Birds can't drive. They're not even real. Damn, Brian. What caught up your ass and died? <laughs> this game's stupid! Alone, please leave me alone. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Should I restart the game from the beginning? I can do that. Cause I'm obviously stuck in some kind of weird can't go fast mode. In the League of Blades, we like to go fast. You got something for me here? Watch it load me right back here where I'm at. It did. Parking garage trying to sneak past the robot. Oh, that game sucked too. I'm pretty sure it was Vietnamese also. For the love of your backside, will you please run? I want to shout that too when I'm beating the hell out of somebody. Okay, we're fine. Hey, we're good. We all doing? Hey, you having fun? That's good. If you having fun, if you remember to leave a like on the stream, that's really important for a YouTuber. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying yourself, and maybe other people will enjoy it too. So YouTube will show the stream to other people. We can get bigger. We can get more people in the league of Everything Blades, Asian is trash. That's not true. I don't know what i like more asian food what's the other food that i like italian i don't know what i like better we get hello fresh this show is not sponsored by hello fresh they've reached out to me i don't do sponsorships on my show because if i run a commercial people lose their daggone mind so I don't do sponsorships on this channel. Does it hurt me financially? Yes. Does it make the loyals happy? Yes. We do HelloFresh. This stream is not sponsored by HelloFresh. We do HelloFresh. They like Asian meals. And they like Italian meals. And I crave those meals. And I don't know which one I like more. I don't know if I like Asian food more or if I like Italian food more. All I know is, is that Big Papa Pump really likes to eat a lot. 
I love food. Food, food, food. I like food. Food's my friend. I enjoy food. I always wonder how HelloFresh is. Let me tell you, man, I've not been to the store. The sucky thing about having HelloFresh is on a night where you're feeling lazy and you decide to order pizza instead. Then you kind of end up having about three brown bags in your refrigerator that have gone rotten and you've wasted 60 bucks. Other than that, they're pretty delicious. I said take it, stupid. Kylie loves hot dogs? No. I have craved hot dogs recently, though. Alright, I am back to full running power. Something sucked me into the door. We escaped. Here comes this guy. I am... Not a -A. Oh my god! No! Okay, Scotty? Okay, what? What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean, okay? What are you supposed to do? Not get hit. At all. Once. At all. Not get hit a single time at all, period. At all. David likes hot dogs? Yeah, well, David probably likes a lot of things that I don't like. There's probably a lot of things that I like that David doesn't like. But what do I always say on this show? It's important that you like things that other people don't and that they like things that you don't. That way we're all different, which makes us all interesting. I'm glad that me and Brian like a lot of the different things and don't like a lot of the different things. I think it makes Brian interesting. And he's emotionally mature, which means that we can disagree on stuff and still get along fantastically because it's not a big deal. It doesn't change anything about either one of us. Who cares? Yoink. Yoink. I don't like necrophilia. Well, I do. See? That's what makes me interesting. That's what makes me interesting. Ah! Dave Matthews is okay. Get out. You know, I could just about just run through this. Nickelback's overrated. Get out. Overrated? Are you guys trying to piss me off? <laughs> oh man, that was so much easier. Oh my god! We 
wieners, nice and soft, not erect wieners, flopping wieners. Wieners, wieners, soft and flesh. Where'd my jean jacket go? What the hell? That was the craziest, most intense, and dumbest 30 seconds of my life. And I loved every minute of it. <laughs> eh, my jean jacket's back. Don't worry, guys. Nice window jump. <laughs> Why is he... Jesus, Krimbus. We're dealing with an absolute psychopath here. The guy was couldn't wait. He was Nick Cajun. He was... Nick Cage in that window, man. We does. Parkour! Parkour! Michael! Parkour! Parkour! Extreme! Parkour! Parkour! He was doing this. He ran through that... Window with this face. <laughs> Why did I get these during COVID? Darn it. That's such a distinguishable mouth. But yeah, that's the face that he was making when he ran through that window. That's the way to do it. That's it. Better take my... Also, we do know that karate sucks. I tried to do all the karate against that monster. Return to the scene of the accident to look for clues. Let me move my camera down a little bit so you guys can see the alerts. Or what the game's trying to tell us to do, even though technically it's got nothing to do with anything. Wiener, wiener, nice and soft. Tiny wiener, little wiener, little wiener, 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 placid wiener. You're having a blast? Good. They said to return to the... We love you. Shut up, baby. I know it. I love you, majestic horse. That was another one of those scenes. Aren't horses neat? Aren't horses neat? 
Coffee. Don't mind if it's I just do. for the sexual thrill. The sexual thrill. Oh! Keep cranking, Daddy. It'll turn over eventually. <laughs> Here at Blade Dads, we got all the dads. We got cranking dads. We got horse dads. You want a dad? We got dads. Some cool idea, but of course the internet ruined it. What a shot. What a shot. Also, I can turn down the brightness, I think, now that we're out of the dark. That's a fire album cover, All right? Tiny wiener. I need more ramen. Ramen? Hell yeah. One mucky noodles. Iced coffee, milk coffee, chrysanthemum, chrys chrysanthemum, 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 artichoke tea, ging ging ginger, squeezed orange juice, dried watermelon. Okay. That wasn't important, but uh, we're world building here, guys. That's what's really important. Okay, it said something about breaking wood. Where at? Darn it. Excuse me, does this road go straight to the shrine at Prince Press? Dạ cho hỏi. Đường này đi thẳng đến ngôi miếu trên đèo Brent phải không cô? Đúng rồi. Cậu yes. Are you going there to burn incense? No, I'm going to burn up this dead horse body I chopped up on the street. Looking for a relative. Are there any... Are there many accidents happening around that place? Dạ không. Cháu đang đi tìm người thân. Chỗ đó có nhiều vụ tai nạn hay sao cô? Cậu vào trong lấy giúp tôi Come inside and get me a kettle, then I'll tell you. It's your house. Get your own damn kettle. Find a kettle for the old lady, okay? Don't worry, old lady. I'll break into your home and get your stuff. Kettle. Kettle. Yoink. Kettle. This kettle's made of aluminum and used to be boiling water to make tea. Nice. Just what the old lady asked for. Okay, I can't pull my weapon out. Cậu đã tìm thấy chưa? Have you found it yet? Here it is. Yeah, yeah. Chỗ đó. In recent years, accidents have frequently occurred there, so they had to build a shrine. 
There are rumors about a ghost of a Quammen in a white dress appearing at night, scaring everyone. Shouldn't he be putting the horse in somebody's bed? Only a made man's bed to send a message. Oh, that's right. At the beginning of the game, the thing that caused the accident that got us in this thing in the first place was a lady in white walked out in the street and we ran her over. White dress, long hair, right? That's right. People say that the restless spirit was hit by a car. Whoops. Since then, the area has become deserted. My business also suffered. You know, you can move your business any old time. Could it be? I must go now. Goodbye. Thanks for the axe. Thanks for the axe. I'm going to steal your horse, your axe, your keys. I'm going to need your boots, your clothes, and your motorcycle. Return to the scene of the accident. Look for... How do I pull out my axe? Pull out the axe! Oh, my God. <laughs> pull out the axe! What is up with this stupid-ass horse? can't pull out my axe. Another horse? This is Team Su Kuei. They make horses a lot tougher over here than they do where we're from. Is that my car? I was driving a Beamer? Pretty sure I wasn't driving a Beamer. <laughs> my face! Splinters! All that work for a stupid note. I'm having... It's, I have been a mechanic for eight years. My repair shop is located at the foot of the print press, serving as a resting spot for drivers and passengers. Recently, there have been several mysterious occurrences around my shop. The knocking on the door at night has become more frequent. That's creepy. Yet when I go to open it, there's no one there. At first, I thought I was just too tired from work and imagining things, but then it got worse. I found myself unable to sleep at night due to horrifying screams. Often, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I see the figure of a young whammon standing next to my bed, her eyes filled with sadness, and her lips. What are her lips doing? Tightly pressed together as if she wants to say something, but no sound comes out. Since then, I've constantly felt like someone's watching me, and my health has gradually declined. I am writing these lines on my last day here. There is also a warning to anyone who dares to enter this place at night. Oh, I can't wait to come back at night. Oh, more nudes. Nice. Nudes make healthy. Healthy nudes. What's that ghost do? Who knows? As hot as it would be to have a ghost haunt you, and give you sexual favors as part of its haunting. It's still a dead person. So I'm pretty sure it's still illegal in about 30 states. Because you are still technically doing it with a dead person. I have no idea what's going on with all the horses in this area. Another horse majestically grazing off in the distance. Oh, man. That's very taboo. I mean, I guess. What if you don't get caught? Uh, well, nothing's illegal till you get caught, so... Screw all...
Nice beat. That's some Pompeii stuff right there. Banana? Okay, that's where I had the accident. I don't know who that is. Sao cậu lại ở đây? Cậu đang bị thương mà. Em không sao. Mẹ và em gái của em đâu? Tôi có chuyện này muốn nói với cậu. Nhưng cậu phải thực sự giữ bình tĩnh. Em gái của cậu đã không qua khỏi. Không thể nào. Còn mẹ của cậu vẫn đang mất tích. Có vẻ như bà ấy đã rơi khỏi chiếc xe xuống vực. Chúng tôi đang cho lực lượng tiếp cận hiện trường để tìm bác gái. Không. Không phải. Anh nói lâu. Cái thể này không phải là của em tôi. Tôi đã thấy bé Thảo bị ai đó kéo đi. Em ấy chưa chết. So they think that body is his sister. Cậu bình tĩnh nghe tôi nói. His sister is like five. Đó là thi thể của bé gái tầm tám tuổi. Đó là thi thể của bé gái tầm tám tuổi. Trên người vẫn còn. Không. Điều này không thể nào xảy ra. Chắc chắn mẹ và em tôi vẫn còn sống. Bây giờ cậu đi theo tôi về trụ sở cảnh sát để lấy lời khai. Tôi sẽ giúp cậu làm rõ mọi chuyện. Không. Bỏ tôi ra. Tôi phải đi tìm mẹ và em. If I'm a mother and sister, they're lost. Họ đang lạc đường đó trong rừng này. Is that the guy that acts like a dog? Hey, okay. Get up at the hospital. Dừng lại. Khu vực đó rất nguy hiểm. Are they not going to mention that that they just beat the hell out of them for 20 minutes in the hospital? If the Celtics, what's up, real real? If the Celtics don't win it this year, it's over. They're seven games better than the next best team in the league. Can they win it all with Jalen Brown being their best player? I think they can. I don't like Jason Tatum. He doesn't have that killer instinct that you need. He doesn't have that give me the ball and get the hell out of my way. Kobe Bryant killer instinct. He's really, really good. He's really, really talented, but he doesn't have it up here. Jalen Brown has it up here when he turns it on. He just too busy, like, breaking pots and cutting his hand and missing several playoff games because of that. The Denver Nuggets will win it all again. Search for the relative in the forest. You guys still can't see the tab. Right there. Hockey's better. I don't have anything against hockey. I try to watch hockey. But the noises of the skate slashing across the ice to me gives me sensory overload. And it in my mind's eye, it's it feels and sounds like somebody running their fingers down a chalkboard when I hear them skating around on the ice. So it's not that I don't appreciate I like the sport. I can't handle the noise. The noise on TV. Yeah, on TV. All that scritching and screeching messes with my sensory. There's the chick right there. Stop crying and start telling me where my sister and my mom is. Okay, see ya. You know this guy's a badass if he's wearing jeans. You're Canadian? Yeah, I, I don't have anything against hockey at all. I respect the hell out of the sport of hockey. I just can't watch it for my own personal reasons. That sound just gets me. I don't know why. Brown, Derek White, Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday was a great addition. God bless. Porzingis. I haven't watched a lot of Celtics basketball this year. I've watched enough Lakers basketball to know that I'm so sick and tired of the Lakers I could scream. <laughs> Half their team's done. Gabe Vincent's out for the year. And, uh, Vanderbilt, they're really good defenders, out for the year. Who else is out? Austin Reeves is taking a big step back. He's not as good as he was last year. He's still good, but he's not as good as he was last year. Maybe he's saving it for the playoffs. What's up, Austin? Awesome? 
I'm here to find my uh, sister. How much ramen noodles do I have? Okay, I have four nudes in my pocket. There's no way this can go bad. Is it time to crank up the brightness again? Can you guys see? I can see. <gasps> the almighty pew pew! Yoinkage? That's the sound that I make when I pick up bullets is claw? How's it going, buddy? It's going great. We are playing a Silent Hill clone game. If you're just joining the broadcast and the scenario, we've actually made no progress in this game whatsoever, story-wise. This guy right here was driving his car with his mom and his sister in it through an area that's haunted. This girl in a white dress walked out in front of them. He run her over and crashed. His sister and mom were thrown from the car. He's not seen his mom since the accident. His sister was grabbed by some woman demon from the woods and drug off. He woke up in the hospital, a la Rick from The Walking Dead. Walked around, asked a bunch of questions looking for his family. Couldn't find them. He broke out of the hospital and returned to the crime scene or the scene of the accident. And the cops told him that his mom's missing and his sister's dead. He don't believe them. So now he's took off on his own to try to find his sister and his mom. They didn't walk Supernatural. You never stop for a woman in white. If it's any of the female actresses from Supernatural, I'm going to stop every single time. Supernatural, no, no, Supernatural knew how to sell their stuff. Gore sex is how you make money in the horror world. Good-looking people fighting creepy monsters is going to sell, sell, sell. And Supernatural, you got a couple of handsome guys running around solving mysteries and saving gorgeous damsels in distress. And they're fighting monsters and supernatural things while they do it. Bam. That's, one of, that's a recipe for success every time. You be Dean, I'll be the moose. <laughs> Your mom had a problem with marbles being rubbed together? I can see that. I don't know why I'm that way. It's just the sound of hockey messes with my sensory stuff. I don't know. Dear Hong Tong, I have been away from you for too quickly. It's already been four months and seven days since I said goodbye. Right, remember the number four seven? That show had drop dead gorgeous women nonstop for seasons. Yep, they knew what they were doing. I'm still healthy up here, missing you a lot. All right. Well, I got a gun. Time to use it. What the hell? Something turned red. All the wood. Go kick ass, Jackie Chan. We love you. No, what was it? It wasn't five eight. What was it? Four seven or something? Damn it, Troy. Don't screw with me like that, son. I think it was 4-7. I think. I, yes. 4-7. Four, 4-7 seven. Four, seven for sure, for sure, for real on goal. Boy, Help. Take that, demon. Where'd she go? Ah, oh, crap. I got her. I got her. Well, the bullets do nothing. I mean, she's bleeding, but... Did she call you a gorilla? Oh, yeah. Ow! Help! Did I win? Oh, mighty forest spirit of butterflies and light. Help me with this dark light. Cast her from the realm of real. Send her away. And check out my friend's real brill.
I'm learning so much about fighting evil. Nudes make you stronger and healthy, and butterflies cast demons away. I'm learning a lot. Butterfly. He kind of looks like the guy from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Oh. This guy has sent a demon after the real brew. That's right. The mysterious butterfly has the ability to protect you from dark forces. The butterfly will follow you through the night, lighting the way like a guiding lantern. When the butterfly flies too far from you, press Q to call it back. When the butterfly is on your shoulder, fuck it. I wasn't done reading. Okay, we're back again. Summoning the butterfly will consume a certain amount of energy. You also need to wait for a while for the butterfly to regenerate energy and to cast spells. Who the hell's casting spells? The circle display on the right will light up when the butterfly has regenerated energy and is on your shoulder. At this time, you can make the spell. Hey, J-Dog. So this butterfly is the sting to our dildo baggins. Whenever there's monsters afoot, our sting will light up blue to let us know that there's monsters about. Cool. Also, sting can cast spells. This whole time, this whole time, Sting was casting spells. That was just a fireball spell. <laughs> Wet nudes. <laughs> Wet nudes. Fuck your ancient Egyptian pots. Wet nudes. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, more guns. Bullets in a prayer shrine. Go, rabbit. I mean, Rachel. Fuck it. Ribbit. God. Butterfly. Come back. <laughs> All right. So, I just pushed Q. Nothing happened. Something, I mean, I pushed Q, a spell happened. The butterfly is not gone. He's back on my shoulder. And our energy is full up. Try that again. That used all of my energy. We got some Bloodborne looking ambiance going on here. Alright. I think that reveals the spirits to us. Yeah, they hid the nudes inside of ancient Egyptian... Did you guys know that Apocalypse is Egyptian? His name is Abin Sur, and he's ancient. But who came first, Apocalypse or Namor? I know Namor's nickname was the first mutant, but Abin Sur... Is Abin Sur older than Namor? How old is Namor? Interesting. You guys are smart. Who's older, Namor or Apocalypse? Wait till April the 8th. Was that some day that you're... Ah! Apocalypse is a villain in the comics, not some weird religious thing you got... Help! Get him, butterfly! That's how I'm going to charge an amber later tonight. <laughs> I won't coin this woman! Um, Apocalypse Oscar Isaac, that's who played Apocalypse in the movie, 
would be thousands of years older than Namor. Even though they call Namor the first mutant. The MC... The, oh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe version is about 500 years old. Okay, I'm talking about the comic book version. But that's interesting to know that the movie version... You're bothered by the chalkboard? Ain't that... Now that you know about that and you watch hockey, does that not what hockey sounds like? It gets to you, man. I can't even I can't even enjoy hockey. All right, you dead eyed dead I'm gonna get you. Take a seat. He died how he lives, face down, ass up, as is tradition. We need more bullets. Also, if I don't do the detection thing, can I just walk through here and not have to fight any enemies? How great would that be? Uh-oh, there's an enemy here. I can hear it. You love hockey? There's nothing wrong with liking hockey. I just... Hang on, I'll explain the hockey thing again in a second. It's a sensory thing for me. It's not the sport of hockey. I appreciate the sport and I respect the folks that play it. I don't like the sound of hockey skates scratching and skeeting across ice. The sound and the sensation messes with my sensory perception. I guess is the right word. That's how they taught us in tactical school when I went through SWAT. The duck crawl. The duck waddle. Ammo? You know it. This reminds me of that game that we played called Stray Souls. This is basically just a Korean, I mean, Vietnamese version of Stray Souls. I'm gonna whip out my Egyptian axe. Nudes, nudes, eyeball. F the eye socket. I'd F an eye socket if it was wet and hot. Got any grapes? I need to know bothered me oh okay while Namor is commonly referred to as Marvel's first mutant, he is in fact not. He was just simply the first mutant to appear in Marvel Comics. He appeared in 1939, which tells you how old that character is. He's not as old as other ancients, such as Selene and Apocalypse, who were several thousand years old. Okay. Apocalypse has been around for a hot minute. Apocalypse. Did you really just say F and I socket? My respect for you just dropped a little. Man, I love that you have some respect for me, but I'm fine just the way I am. <laughs> Stick a watermelon in the refrigerator. <laughs> Stick a watermelon in the microwave. Warm it up, cut a hole in it. And that's your Saturday night right there, baby. You know how they always say birth control, birth control, birth control? Put a watermelon in the microwave. Turn it on six minutes. Warm that bad boy up, make a wiener size hole in the top, and drink all the contents out of it. You'll be you'll be hydrated for a long night of fun activities and hobbies such as puzzles, board games with Ken and Kill. Apocalypse was born in 8000 BC. I can't remember who Selene is.
I need to eat some more nudes. Scotty made a joke on a comedy broadcast. I've lost respect for him. Well. I have to write that in my diary tonight. Dear diary. Made joke. Lost value in friends' eyes. Help me, butterfly! Oh, that's the moon. I like my watermelon on the hot side. But you're too good to screw a socket. Hmm? 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 You have a diary? You might call it diary. I call it journaling. Journaling is a healthy way to reflect on one's thoughts and emotions and to record your mind state so that you can get it out there so that in 2,000 years, when I'm long gone and the dust is in the wind, somebody can get my memoir and call it meditations and then become a billionaire off of somebody else's work and call themselves a expert by reading a book that somebody may or may not have wrote 2,000 years ago. If you don't let anyone read your journal, then it's a diary. What part of somebody finding it 2,000 years from now to use it to guide their life and to become a billionaire, did you not get that I was putting down? Butterfly. Uh-oh. What about the Indiana Jones this? All right, according to this thing, we need to go... Uh... Oh, boy. Uh, sure. Journaling's awesome for your mental health. Well, don't let the bullies in the League of Blades know. Or they'll shame you into going into your bathroom and crying into your bathroom journal. I mean, diary. Mm, I made a boo boo. Alright, um. What the hell? I did what the stupid thing said. Scotty has a voice password protected pink journal. It's called a trapper keeper, you jack wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Trapper keeper, you jerk. <laughs> um, okay. What? Yes, South Park made fun of trapper keepers. Okay. What's up, Cam Mac? Put that there. Put that there. Guys, we're really trying to do some important adventuring here. I'm Indiana Jones in it. 
You're lost in some tangent about squiggly lines in a god dang book called a diary? Get your mind in the game! Shit! I'd say you're Laura Croft in it. I'm down with that. Ba -ba a duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, bump, 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 got any grapes? Secret, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, tunnel, secret, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, tunnel, secret, secret tunnel, secret, secret tunnel. It's a secret, secret tunnel. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No, little German boy, don't go to the weed cave. <laughs> Little German boy. <laughs> Shit! I know there's a map on the wall. I can't figure out what it says. You can't figure out what it says. Any idea what the hell's going on here? Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the mountain! Secret, secret... I think I've tried every combination and it's not worked. Am I here? Hey, Zach. I've tried every combination. It's not working. I don't. I don't know what's going on. How's the game? It sucks ass. Or we're having fun with it, though. How's your night going? Thanks for joining the adventure. Happy to see you. <laughs> this game sucks! Secret, secret, secret tunnel, tunnel. We know that's not the way. We know that's not the way. We know that's not the way. Every single way is not the way. I don't get it. Wait a second. It's not right. What? That's worked every time before. Why is it stopping now? Hello, Mel. Shit. No, that's not right. It doesn't stay down.
god, what am I doing wrong? Good no clip mode? Yeah, no kidding. I know this doesn't work. Oh my god, it worked. Okay. I can't remember how the routine goes. He'll help. He didn't do shit. You're getting closer. I am I'm getting hit the sucky part trying to remember the order this is in. What? I thought that was a... Mm. Mm. Alright. There's a map right here, but good luck trying to tell what the hell this means. Because it doesn't match what I got. So it starts Bam and then those two and then that one and then long one and then that one right And then we did that earlier and it worked. Okay. So you go for the third one up. So we know the third one up is right. I could have swore I had tried this one last time. Okay, I did. That one didn't work. But we know the third one up works. So we got to figure out where to go from the third one up right here. So that one... Joke. I'm not choking, I'm learning. Look at him suffer. I'm learning. Okay. I don't know what the fuck. Hmm. That's obviously not the right one. We're going to solve this, by God. We're going to solve this through brute force. Are you journaling this? Yes. <laughs> Are you journaling this? I did the thing, you ass! I am journaling this. With my little, my little journal. You guys thought I was joking, didn't you? My little journal right here. Where I write down all the bullshit. Oh, I've missed a step, that's why. So I know that it's not 
this way. Right? Yeah, it's not it's not that way. So we can mark that off. Dear diary, I mean journal, because I'm a man. <laughs> I never, I never once said that I, hey, Peepie, that I journal instead of diary because I'm a man. I never said that. You're putting those words in my mouth for real, for real, no cap on God. My phone died after I called you Igor. Why in the hell are you calling me Igor? All right, well, I made it. A spear stone resembling the eye of an ancient statue. Take it! Do I play Dead by Daylight and wear a beanie every day? No. Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! We did it! First try, that's right. Don't ever forget it. First try. GG, bro, no cap. Thanks. You're Canadian? You called me Igor because you're Canadian? Do you think all of us Americans sound the same? Me and Igor do sound the same. We both live in the same mountain range. He's on the other side of the mountain from me. Within driving distance. Isn't that a small world? Small world! Deep philosophy while pooping. Speaking of pooping... You know that we're within driving distance? Why are you stalking us, Special Agent Skull? What do you mean, you know? What are you talking about? What do you mean, you know? None of you, what do you... You shouldn't know where I live. You shouldn't know where he lives. You shouldn't know where any of us live. What are you doing? Real live actual footage captured. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. tunnel Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, tunnel Secret, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, tunnel Secret, secret tunnel, secret, secret tunnel It's a secret, secret tunnel Yeah Careful, some girls are into those red flag stalker types. Are you calling Canadians red flag stalkers? What is wrong with you guys tonight? The League of Blades is at war with Canada, and we have our very own Canadian in the league. His name is Squawk. I'm in Dallas. Well, bless your heart, that's not a part of Canada. Man, they made them guys thick. Not thick enough to stop bullets. <laughs> Syrup suckers. Help!
<laughs> oh shit! Get him, butterfly! Butter. So many Texans here. I think my accent resonates with Texans because I think my number one, my number one demographic is Texas. My second demographic is more uh, California, and it's actually Virginia after that. I'm out of bullets. Hit him, you asshole! I don't know why my butterfly wouldn't... Come, come, my lady. Why butterfly no do nothing? I don't know. Why butterfly no do nothing? 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 Huh? Why fly butter no do nothing? Your phone's acting up because everybody's talking about you. You're you're like a big deal right now. You're my butterfly sugar baby. That's right. If you play video games and you're a man, they are investigating you. There's a big write-up in the NHS press release, the Department of Homeland Security, in DHS. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security are putting together a task force and they're going to start monitoring video game streamers, lobbies, and chats for extremism. What happened when I did that? Nothing happened. His mouth didn't open up. He didn't give me an item. Nothing happened. What the hell? Is that a Stanley? <laughs> no, it's not a Stanley. No, this is um, this is a Hobby Lobby. The closest store to where I live is go figure a Hobby Lobby. It's on the edge of the city, just as you go into the city. And it's always the first place that I stop. That's where I do all my grocery shopping. So in my pantry right now, I have a lot of Werther's Originals, Gummy Bears, chocolate covered pretzels. This isn't a Stanley, it's a Hobby Lobby special. I, I need to put all my stickers on it or get some more stickers. Maybe stick it inside of a secret tunnel. Hobby Lobby sells food, not groceries. They've got little knickknacks and snacks that you can buy as you're leaving checkout. They've got little candies, little crandies. Little delicious crandies. A large door opened somewhere, did it? Well, if my god dang I'm so tired. Did the door open up over here? Remember last night we were joking about commercials and people leaving when I play commercials? And everybody's like, oh, I love your commercials. 
14 viewers left last night when I played a commercial and they didn't come back. <laughs> Why don't you ever play your commercials anymore, Scotty? I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I love the women. I love the women. Mans no more. Mans. I love the weapons. Where did you hear about the DHS? Well, I used to work for the DHS at one point, but uh, this was an article that was released on these. YouTube channels that use shock value to lure people in and then they scare you with I mean it's a real article but yeah they're they're monitoring video game streams and chats for extremism secret tunnel I used to be a fed not anymore that was years ago Found it. Lord of the Rings is my favorite. I thought I like women. <laughs> women, 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 women. <laughs> <laughs> women, women, women. Found I also love women. A cave of a troll in a land lost in time on an earth not quite up, not quite down, but somewhere in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you. One of the seven seeing stones, a palantir. That, yeah, that thing, that obsidian, yeah, a palantir. There it is. Whether you're scrying on your enemies or using it to, to speak to another world entity in order to do the bidding of a dark wizard, or if you're just trying to use it to figure out what the menu of Taco Bell is this week, but you can't go outside because of quarantine, you know, it might, overuse will give you the wizard sweats. And you definitely don't want those because you, it's a fever, man, and there's no magical cure for that. You could use it to uh, try to orchestrate the overtaking of the entire universe and the world and do that by orchestrating the constitutional making of uh, incredible mutated uruk orc creatures for the betterment of evil. Or you could use it for good. You know, whatever you're into, man, just really, just it's for you. Right there it is, the... The Palantir, one of the rare seven seeing stones. Okay. Unfollow. <laughs> Unfollow. <laughs> I gotta pee, man. Would you rather just look at my chair? Unfollow. Yoink. That's a lot of work for some handgun ammo. Why is Scotty selling the black materia? Uh, it was a giveaway. At one time. How do I get up there? Scotty, I'm ready for bed. I mean, it is getting close to midnight. Cause after midnight, morning will come in. What's Nelly? Have you guys seen Nelly Furtado recently? She's fucking thick. I'm talking thick. I'm to <laughs> rev my engines. <laughs> thick. Is it about the about the about you? Dum dum dum. Is she still hot? I don't know. I didn't think she was that hot when I was Nelly for Todden years ago. Don't tell me this thing can't fit. Are you kidding? It doesn't fit. Huh? 
Huh? Is that where I'm trying to get right there? Nelly Furtado, not that Nelly. We got too many Nelly. Nelly Falafels. Mm, okay, well that actually worked. I'm already a follower of your stream, and it asked me this before logging in. Hey, Jonathan, when you logged into the stream, the stream asked you if you were a follower. What did you tell it? You shouldn't be talking to the stream. That's how Skynet gets you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Was she the wrecking ball girl? No, that's Miley Cyrus. Bless your heart. Don't do it. Where'd my butterfly go? Come back. I thought I saw a chip on your shoulder. No, but tomorrow night... We are going to create our character in Dragon's Dogma. This is going to be who represents us in the world of Dragon's Dogma 2. This person must live up to the pedigree that we establish here in the League of Blades. Such legends as Razor Rusty Dull Blades. Such legends as Keanu Bleeds. Such icons as Bumbledore, this character must spread heroism, the most contagious disease ever known to mankind and all the monsters in between. And we get to create a pawn, which is a sidekick. And you better bet your sweet bottom ass dollar bill. We're going to be making Chip as our number one pawn. Chip lives again. Chip, 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 Chip. A pop-up window showed up. Give me the option to become a member. I ignored it. As you should. As you should. My life is like a fart. If she's bird, shut the hell up. Come on, Scotty. Next time I will screenshot. Barely legal. Being a subscriber is one thing. Being a member is a additional option that you can partake in or not that supports the channel and allows people like me who rely on that kind of income to continue to do this every single day. This is my full-time job. Content creation is what I do for a living, and that's just another option if you so choose to do so. To support the Scotty Blade Show and to support the League of Blades. But of course it is completely 100% optional. This entertainment will be free. It will always be free. That's a hero's decree. Because there are so many incredible people all across this community who take up the mantle. And support the show in various, various ways. Whoa. Motorcycle bike handles. 
handle used to operate the cobble system. This show is free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> Darn it. My secret is gone. Hey, look. This bitch writes in a diary, too. He must not be much of a man. In the midst of the deep forest, there is a fire that always burns bright in the night, never extinguishing, even when strong winds or thunderstorms come. Zombie check. You pass. <laughs> How's it hanging? Oh my god, do I get to ride on a zip line? A cable system. Used to increase the speed of moving across terrains. You need to have a handle for it. Well, I just so happen to have it. I have a handle. Please let me play. Please let me play the game. I have a handle. I have a handle. I am leaving this letter as a Bro. warning to the... Some I asshole in the chat's trying to tell you to drink water. Thank you, Zachary B. Thank you for the 149, buddy. Super dogs for everybody. If you're one of the lucky folks who got a super dog, throw it up in the air and celebrate. You're eating people. Where's my super dog? There it is. Yum, yum. It's a meal in itself. Our all meat super dog. $10 from P812, supporting the only finals page. The Blade Beacon has been lit!
Peepie with the $10 Super Chat supporting the Only Flannels page. When I get so far away that there's no way, it takes seven years. It takes seven years for me to be removed from the callback testimony rule. You better believe in seven years, I'm putting everything my mama gave me on the internet. You better believe it. But I still got three years to go. So three more years, I can be Bush Daddy. And then it's time to go Ball Daddy. <laughs> All right, remember that number, guys, 2906. Ow, my fingers. 2906. Just eat the hot dog sideways? It's got nothing to do with the fact that the hot dog is shaped like a wiener. I just don't... Hot dogs are incredibly bad for you. It's one of the worst possible things that you can consume. There's nothing beneficial nutrient wise whatsoever from a hot dog nothing 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 other than the satisfaction you get from taste nothing ain't that all you're really looking for well i can't open my closet door my ten dollars from zaxby two nine zero six e They have protein. Not any kind of protein. What? I can't see the keypad. Not any kind of protein that you can consume. Who queef? Back to back blade beacons. The broadcast has just gotten more powerful. Because the fire has been lit. Back to back blade beacon from Zach B. Peepie, who may or may not have her real name said tonight, but I don't think anybody was paying attention. victory, yeah. I'm gonna, I gotta shut up. I'm gonna wake, I'm gonna wake her up. She gotta get up early. I gotta stop. Would you shut up? <laughs> you can't quelch my joy. If people can live on plants, they can live on hot dogs. You see, plants... I like your war cry, Ted. Guys, when we're surrounded by Orakai, trolls, monsters, ogres, we'll look to the east when the sun rises, and you'll know when Ted's coming, because you'll hear, hey, yeah, 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 hey, and then here comes Ted riding with his majestic blonde locks flying behind him, a spear in hand. <laughs> Smeagles! Thank you so much, Zach! And Peepie for the back to back super chats. Thank you all. Thank you all for the blurps. Y'all's comedic timing has been fantastic tonight. Your hair is white, thank you. Well, I don't see color, Ted. Thank you. Secret tunnel! <laughs> so woke! Secret tunnel! Through the mountain! Secret, secret, giant, secret Aztec house!
the 90s when music was better. There wasn't songs about slobbing knob and having wet pussy lips. They sung about important things like heart-shaped boxes and there goes the rooster. John Bon Jovi just put out a new song. I don't know why. I thought his vocal cords blew out. Commander Blades, why did you discharge your weapon? I thought the moon was a ghost. I didn't think. You guys saw that was a ghost. You guys saw it. That was a ghost. You saw it. I saw it. Your dad Blade saw it. That's right. Or Blade Dad, whatever. You want Blade Dads? We got Blade Dads. I had to watch that, that documentary about the Nickelodeon thing. It's not a good watch at all. It's not a good watch, but man. Talk about ruining somebody's childhood. Mouse and keyboard gaming is so much better than controller gaming. It's so much easier to control. Even though a controller is called a controller because it controls. Why are we getting hanky about? Finding a way to break the newly built wall. It's easier. I don't know if it's easier. It took me a while to get used to it because I was a controller guy my entire life. I don't know if it's easier, but once you get used to it, it it does become easier, yeah. There's a hell of a learning curve, though, if you're not used to it. At least there was for me, anyway. But definitely easier once you get used to it, for me. Ah, I did it on the wrong floor. Ah, he's eating me! Whoa, she got boob. Eat me all you want. You're actually the opposite. You did calcium me board forever. You did calcium me board forever. You got used to control, now you prefer controllers for most shooters. See, I don't play shooters, so I guess that makes sense. A lot of folks, when I used to watch Dr. Disrespect pretty religiously, I don't not watch them no more because of any reason. Princess Peach, 
You're the top of the line. I'll make you mine. There you go. Peaches, 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 peaches. Okay, well, how do I get over there? I don't play a lot of shooters, so that makes sense. That's what I was trying to say. Please stop doing that and reload your gun. Thank you. Carlson Meeborn? You also play Carlson Meeborn? If you're not done so yet, folks, do your heroic deed for the afternoon. Like the broadcast. Every single like makes it that much more powerful. And the blade signal will reach more people, bringing in more heroes to help us slay the evil. Thank you to everybody who's hung out tonight, liked, laughed, lurked, or otherwise just had a good time, made some memories. I could have swore I ate some nudes. Did I not eat any nudes? You can do both. I do too. It's just, it really is according to what I'm playing. When I was playing Diablo 4, it's weird. Most of the time, games like Diablo 4, top-down hack-and-slash style games, are normally much more mouse and keyboard. But I really like to sit on my couch and, and relax and play a game. And, to, and be able to play Diablo where everything's right there in my controller. And I'm just le Because, you know, Diablo is a lot of grinding and repetition. And, and going through dungeon after dungeon after dungeon. And looting and fighting and slaying. And sitting at a chair on a mouse and keyboard doing that for hours on end is tough. But on a couch? Where I'm leaned back with a controller? Papa blew a blood vessel with Cuphead? I did, but it was probably one of the greatest gaming experiences I've ever had. I put Cuphead easily in my top 10 games I've ever played. God, I love Cuphead. wandering through E3. Everybody who's anybody in the gaming world is here. I think I just saw Larry Nintendo. Larry Nintendo. Anybody who is everybody in the gaming world is here. One of the, I've, I've said this several times before, but one of the reasons why I love Jack Black so much is that he has never changed. He's had hits, and he's had flops. He's done weird roles. He's done cool roles. He's done artsy roles. He's done it all, but he's... Out of my face! He's never changed who he was. He's always been Jack Black. Another reason why I love Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds... If you guys remember Van Wilder, Van Wilder was huge. That was like Ryan Reynolds' first big claim to fame was... Do the thing. It was Van Wilder. But anyway, then he, he did a bunch of flops with like Green Lantern and Waiting. Which Waiting wasn't really a flop, but it didn't do very well commercially. And he kept doing like weird movies like Bodyguard and Hitman's Assassin. Just a bunch of movies that were all kind of the same. Blade Trinity, which didn't do well for his career. But he never changed who he was. And now he's literally marvels jesus and he has the golden touch and he saved the soccer franchise and he's got mint mobile and he's he's launched a vodka company and he's just everything he touches just turns to gold you first recognize ryan reynolds in blade 3 cuphead's hard but very rewarding oh yeah control wasn't bad for diablo that's how i enjoyed it that's I really... Did I say vodka? I meant to say gin. Aviator gin. Aviation gin.
Aviator gin? Yeah, I, mean, I didn't mean to say vodka. I meant to say gin. I've never had gin before. Couldn't tell you how it tastes. Reload the gun, you maniac. It has a scream. I think Ted's a big gin and tonic guy. Never had gin and tonic. You love a good gin and tonic? Never had it. Based on what you guys are saying, I'll have to try it. Because you know, I bought... I like tequila. But I bought Terramated tequila just because The Rock made it. I was like, I gotta try this out. Well, now I'm gonna have to try out Aviator Gin, or Aviation Gin, however you pronounce it. Are you supposed to go in there? I don't know where else I'm supposed to go. These indie games make you wonder sometimes. I hate them. And the only reason why we're not playing Alone in the Dark tonight is because it didn't get great reviews. It's another $60 game. And there's two more $60 games coming out Friday. Holy crap, it put us all the way back here. Jesus, Krimbus and Joseph. The midnight has come upon us, folks. You know what that means. The moon's out. The goons are out. And it's time for the secret society inside the League of Blades to hunt. That's right. The Graveyard Crew, a.k.a. the Midnight Lesbian Society, a.k.a. the Night Blades. Raise your green lanterns. Cast away the darkness. Fill the audience with your greenish hue. This game is pissing me off. This game is pissing me off. Reload the gun, you maniac. They look kind of like liquors. I should write parody songs. That's actually, my, that was my calling car when I was an amateur wedding singer. You got the Blades experience. People would get so pissed. They would yell and say, that's not the words of the song. You're getting the Blades experience. Whatever funny or natural rolls into my improv brain, I just run with it. That's not how that song goes. Basically, I got an audience full of Ted's who just can't let me have fun. They have to stand up and correct me. That's not how that song goes. He didn't say that. I'm just having fun. I'm not. Ah. 
What I'm happened to my pretty flashlight? tired. I think I'll go home now. Been a good night. Much, much hero work was done. You are released. My good man. May your slumbers refill your hero battery so that we can have you back better than ever tomorrow. Why are you the killjoy? I wouldn't call you a killjoy. You're just, you're never one to let, <laughs> why am I the killjoy? I wouldn't call it a killjoy. You just won't let me get away with saying. All right, everybody, this song is by Joe Perry from Aerosmith, or, wait, Joe Perry is Aerosmith. Here's another hit from Axl Rose. This is a song Bon Jovi did in 1974. You'd be like, uh-uh. I wouldn't call it Killjoy. See you, nerd. He's a fact checker. Yes. Stevie... T Stevie Tyler! Oh, the butterfly is my little compatriot of light. Of course. Alright, so there should be something up here I can use to break the wall downstairs. And there's not. And I don't know why this goes out here for. This is where we saw the girl earlier. This is a song by Cindy Popper from the Cranberries. Exactly. I would say that. And then I could see Ted standing up going. <laughs> Forget it. Reload the gun, you. Art Kelly's song, Once Upon a Midnight Clear, from the movie Two Masks. Are you speaking in gangster, Krim? Anyway, I, we had talked about playing Alone in the Dark tonight, but Alone in the Dark did not get good reviews. The game was called very boring and pretty, but boring and slow, and the combat was just kind of meh. So we got, instead of doing that, we're 100% playing Dragon's Dogma Friday. We might pick up The Rise of Ronin because Samurai is the hot thing right now, and I love me a good Samurai's tale. Not sure why my butterfly effect didn't work right here. Butterfly effect? Butterfly effect? Butterfly effect? $10 from Cuddy Gill's track.
Well, I guess we'll get Alone in the Dark, and I won't get Rise of the Ronin then, Ted. Are you happy? God, I'm happy. Thank you, Cody. Cody Light and the Blade Beacon from Cody Gillstrap. Who knows? Thank you so much, my friend. Thanks to the Ten Bones. All right, we're getting Alone in the Dark then. We're not getting Rise of the Ronin. Screw Samurais. Am I right, League of Blades? They're dumb. Who needs Samurais when you can be alone in the dark? Can I make any comment with you taking it personal? No! Of course not! My job is personal! What's up, Andrew? <laughs> Take it personal. How dare you affront my home and house? <laughs> Ted? <laughs> Can you say anything without you taking it personal? I wasn't talking about you earlier. I actually, I said to an audience full of Ted Wilbur. Whatever. Get out of my head. He tried to run. Play what you want. Thanks. I don't know what that'll be. Thank you so much, Koki Guillermo, according to the DAC bot. Thanks for the 10 bones, buddy. Thank you so much for supporting the Scotty Blade Show and supporting the League of Blades. All right, let's try to do this again. Why was it so much easier that time? I had 11 nudes, that's why. 11 nudes in my pocket. I don't know why it worked that time, couldn't tell you. I guess maybe because it was a... Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the mountain. Nine dollars ninety-nine cents from ATS. Secret tunnel, tunnel, secret, secret tunnel, secret tunnel, tunnel, secret, secret tunnel, secret, secret tunnel. It's a secret, secret tunnel. Your hatred of all things Asian made the league not want to see samurais. I support you. I know you support me. That was never a question. Let's dial back. Camera one. Let's dial back what was said. I said, when I was a wedding singer, and I would go up there in improv and sing a song and the words weren't right, I had a Ted Wilbert in the audience who would stand up and go, that's not the right words, and then tell me what the right words were. Which you know you do. It wasn't a slight. I think it's funny and one of your best characteristics. Thanks for the 10 bones, my friend. Thank you very much. Butterfly, do your thing. Suck, Butterfly. That's a big one. Holy freaking crap. Well, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Please don't try to karate the big guy. I'm out of ammo. We're doomed. Did I kill him? I must have got him. With my axe of justice. No way, no way. This guy throws my stand at my... I'm going to need you to get all the way off my back on this one. All the way off my back on this one. Later in Scotty's journal, screw Ted. <laughs> Always correct. <laughs> Dear diary, 
Ted says I was a sissy because I write in a journal. Joke's on him. It's a dairy. Secret bomb! Secret bomb! Used to blow things! Secret, 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 secret. <laughs> See? Dear Diary, remember to drown Ted in whiteout correction. <laughs> Dear Diary, remember to drown Ted in whiteout correction fluid. Dear Diary. Probably my little sister, I guess. All right, little sis, stand back. Big. Activating butter powers. Do you ever have any dreams of any games that you play? Yeah, I dream about Marvel Strike Force, which isn't a good thing to dream about. That game already takes up too much of my free time as it is. But not about any of the games that I play normally. And the only reason I think of that dumb game is because it's so much repetition. It's just like dumb repetition. The first real job where I was on a payroll and I got salary, I've worked my entire life, whether it was on the farm or at my mom and dad's pizza shop or whatever I was doing, but the first payroll salary job that I had, I was a dishwasher. And I had a ton of dreams. I would work an entire shift of just monotonous dishwashing and then go home after like a six hour shift of washing dishes and then have to freaking wash dishes in my sleep. What a nightmare. Just because it was repetition. I just, I was so used to it. What in the horror game is this? Uh, it's a game called Taken Souls, and it's a Vietnamese Silent Hill knockoff. And as bad as it is, it's actually been pretty entertaining. I don't know what that objective was. It's gone now, but... Scotty was so good at washing, he added a letter to it. Oh, because of how I say washing... I don't know why I say wash. <laughs> you know, two things that me... Is that weed? No, little German boy! Don't go to the weed farm! You know, one thing that me and Steven Seagal do have in common? We were both discovered washing dishes in a restaurant. When Steven Seagal was working at the wagon wheel... An old Japanese martial arts sensei noticed how fast he could wash dishes. When I was working my dishwashing job, uh, nothing happened. I did get promoted to retail, but I didn't last in retail very long because people would come in and say, how long's the wait? And I would lie and say 50 minutes when it was actually like six minutes just because I didn't want people to be there. Secret tunnel! That's a lot of weed. Holy crap, that is a lot of weed. 
Why is there an underground weed farm? How long is the wait? Uh, about an hour. Can I see the list? No. None of your damn business is on the list. As Papa Sensei once said, You whacker disappointed. <laughs> you whacker disappointed. Someone's notebook, inside of which are recorded numerous transactions of illegal marijuana trade. Do you say pants or britches? Britches. Yeah, I say britches. Yellow. Chimley. I have a thing about R's. Ranch. I really roll my R's. Not only is it bought and sold in Vietnam, but it's also taken to foreign markets. I don't say fucking Critchin. Little dime bag of weed there. I don't say tombstone. <laughs> Little German boy, don't go to the weed cave. Hey, uh, no, <laughs> Troy. That may be one of the funniest things anybody has ever said in the history of this channel. I've been doing this for four years, and there's a, there's been over a thousand recorded streams. Making fun of my accent and then saying I say tombstone instead of toilet. Well done. I'm laughing on the inside, but well done. And then the German boy in the weed Welcome cave. Welcome to the rice fields, motherfucker. You ruined it. You had me there. I was I was on team boat right. It was perfect. No little German boy don't go in the weed cave. I'm in the weed cave right now. No little German boy. To the weed cave. Silence, Wedge. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Why am I in this weed cave? Said no guy ever. Get dick shot. Just wanted to hear it again. Then pull up blurps and play it. There's a tombstone. You want to crap behind it? Oh. Saw somebody. Stop being horny. Do the right thing and join the adventure team. I am really enjoying this game. Seriously?
Wait, sorry. Yours. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> Yours. Yours. Yours I am. Yours. Worse, yours. Yours. Nobody gets away from my Butterfinger. That's what I call my pinky. Just looking for a little pleasure. Sometimes my Butterfinger finds the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. And that's the noise that she makes when you find the secret tunnel. A lot of ammo in there. Is there a boss fight coming up? Because my finger smells like butter? Sure. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. Two in the pink, one in the stink. You just don't get them mixed up because then you're going to have dysentery. Yucky tunnel. Yucky tunnels. I hear the music, but I don't see anybody. Go get him, Jackie Chan. Nobody lays a finger on my Scotty Butter. What all have we created tonight? We've created Blade Dads, Scotty Butter. We created a lot of stuff tonight. Your new diary? Yeah. No, we didn't come up with flutter by, whatever the hell that means. Flutter by! Never said anything about anything resembling anything close to the word flutter by. person in the picture looks like a ghost woman who was chasing me. Oh, she's hot. <laughs> For zoom! Well, that works in the movies. The Bagua mirror. The Bagua mirror with a convex center resembling a turtle shell. Mm-hmm. We got it. Whoops, cutscene. Taking a knee. He's added some fire to the blade bonfire there. Don't tell me this was a demo and I paid 10 bucks for it. Just 
What is this? It's a game called um, Taken Souls. We'll be straight up Taken Souls out here. Whoops. Glenn? Yeah. Anh hai ơi, anh dậy đi đập vịt với em đi. Sao? Mình lại thức dậy ở đây. Nãy giờ chỉ là giấc mơ thôi sao? Con nói linh tinh gì vậy? Nhanh dậy ra đây chơi, kéo em chờ nè. Dạ. Mẹ đợi con ra ngay. Can you raid on YouTube if you can? I have no idea how. I think you can. I got raided by Zach Bill a few years ago, but I don't know how. Actually, I don't have any clue how cuz it always just says in stream. That's all it says when I click it. The mystery of the water monster. For a long time in this misty city, the tale of Huang Huang has been whispered among the locals. Recently, the rumor has spread to other provinces. Provinces. Huang Huang! All right, well, watch out for the monster of Huang Huang, guys. There he is again. Let's see if this guy has caught the monster Huang Huang. There's that freaking horse again. Would your family come here for a visit? Yes, they have. They're at Huang Huang Lake. Dạ đúng rồi. Hồ Xuân Hương bình thường vẫn vắng như vậy hả chú? Mấy năm trước cũng đông đúc lắm. Nhưng từ khi có một số chuyện kỳ quái xảy ra ở dưới hồ, người ta không còn đến đây thường xuyên nữa. Pay the monster three fifty. About three fifty. What kind of strange things been happening here? Chuyện kỳ quái là gì vậy chú? Cậu không nên biết thì tốt hơn. What kind of strange things are happening around here? I was on top of the world living high. It was right in my pocket. I was living the life. Things were just the way they should be. When the night of the sky like a bomb comes some little punk in a rocket. Now all of a sudden, some strange things are happening to me. I had friends, I had lots of friends. Now all my friends are gone. And I'm doing the best I can. Okay. Use a character movement key combination to navigate the boat. If your boat touches the batter, you lose. All right. Press Q E continuously while moving to increase the boat's speed. Okay. Let's try it. All of that for that? <laughs> this is not easy.
I'm having to push W A S D plus Q E. This is not easy. I have to keep pushing W A S D while pushing Q E. This is hard as shit. I can't, my fingers can't. I can't. I can't, man. There's my fingers can't handle it. Hentai monsters going on here. <laughs> w S A Q D W S E Q E. My hand. What a crazy dream that was. Phew. Poison Ivy's hitting the juice again. Strange things are happening to me. Ain't no doubt about it. Boom, 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 boom. I want power, power. He won't respect. I made you night. Oh, I appreciate that. Last chance to get some likes in, folks, before we end the broadcast. I do try to end the broadcast around midnight. And it's well past midnight now. Actually, I think I'll probably end up shouting or shouting it. Wrapping it up right here because this is a checkpoint. Checkpoint, chicky. Checkpoint, chicky. What do we learn tonight, everybody? We learned that Papa Blades writes in a diary. But if you're manly cool, it's a journal. We learned that nudes heals all wounds. So leave the healing potions and the boo-boo sprays at home. We learned that Scotty is so southern that instead of toilet, he says tombstone. 72 likes from you, huh? Oh, man. Rough turnout tonight, and it was hard. Thanks for everybody supporting the broadcast. Thank you all. Played horrors. Be back tomorrow night. Goodbye, everybody. Ten Blade Bucks, you'll name this song.
<laughs> Your fingers can't handle that digital stimuli. Bingo, Metal Gear. Well done. 